The skeleton took a shower. The skeleton ran out of shampoo in the shower. The skeleton, the human torch, could not get a bank loan. The human torch, hmm, the hu, <laughs> the human torch was denied a bank loan. <laughs> Michelangelo would blush. I like it. And you're sitting on it. And I like to be... F I like to be friends with it. Hmm. Wow. You certainly know how to compliment a woman. My motto's always been, when it's right, it's right by me. <laughs> so sorry. No, it's okay. I looked at, okay. Here we go. Oh, I can't damn. look at you guys. Can't look damn. at you. Kept their head on a swivel, and that's what you gotta do when you find yourself thrust into the middle of a cockfight. <laughs> that thing, Ron, I got out of hand. Hey, I'm Ricky Bobby. And I'm Cal Naughton Jr. We just want to take a moment to talk to you about snow blindness in cats. It's affecting more and more cats every year, and it scares the living shit out of us. 98% of us will die at some point in our lives. The darkness is creeping towards you, whether you know it or not. So a little planning can go a long way. Listen, leaving your big old corpse behind for your loved ones to deal with ain't cool. That's why you should call McCready Funeral Service. McCready's. They'll find the hole and build the box. Bodies that look so good, you're gonna want to talk to it. <laughs> we like to have a lot of laughs on the racetrack, but today we want to talk about something serious. Packs of stray dogs that control most of the major cities. <laughs> That's packs of wild, vicious dogs that are controlling most of. <laughs> yep. Two. Go. Oh. Again. No, again. It's, it's, no go. It's, it's, no, no. no. <laughs> We got two knives in my leg. I know, but one is a safety. Yeah. safety. It's coming out. It's coming out. I'm choking on my own spit. No, it hurts so out. bad, I'm choking on my own spit. Good night, guys. I'm losing a lot of blood. Just relax. Good night. Ricky. Hmm? <laughs> hey, I'm Ricky Bobby. Whenever I'm in Beijing, I enjoy Dr. Han's prune candy. The dragon eats some miles and chases through the bamboo. Ravine, relax. I know it's hard, but relax. No. So okay. do not panic. Okay, well, so one, do not well, panic. The so yeah. one who gives the attack command yeah. word must also give the kill command word as well. Okay. You understand? I do. What, what is it? Rina said, what is it? Rina said, what is it? Rina said, what is it? Shut your stink hole, Chip, or I'll feed you in the ass. You gonna let your sons talk to their grandfather like that? I'm their elder. I sure as hell am, Chip. Chip! Hey, whenever I'm spending time in Shanghai, Beijing, or Taipei, I like to put my feet up, get a cool glass of iced tea, and enjoy a bag of prune candy. Dragon foot, bamboo pole, little mouse, Chinese boy, prune candy. Hi, I'm Ricky Bobby. One of my fondest childhood memories is sitting on the back porch enjoying a whole mess of pork rinds. But I can't eat them the way I used to. But thanks to Bob Dawson's, I can eat as much as I want. Bob Dawson's Diet Pork Rinds. Mmm, that's a good pork rind. Bob Dawson's Diet Pork Rinds. Hey, is that pork rinds of Bob Dawson's? Hey, I'm Ricky Bobby. Big Red, America's number one cinnamon gum. If you don't chew this sh you got something wrong with your head. Chew Big Red. Or get out of my face, mother I'm Ricky Bobby. People used to call me Big Red, but I told them stop it. Because there's only one Big Red, America's number one cinnamon gum. What? What'd you say? That's what I thought. Mom, what's one thing that you can't talk to me about? My sexual fantasies. <laughs> Mom, I mean, come on! This is horse shit! Did you do a loose permanent function? It's a waiting game right now. 
We won't know. I think I licked my balls. I did not mean it that way. I did not mean it that what way. What way did you mean it? If that was what you're into, <laughs> you could do it. Majestic Wolf Lamp and his family. This is Galco, which is Hebrew for kindness. Galco? Gal <laughs> what about the pup? The pup is unnamed. Because you can't put a name on the innocence of that face. <laughs> Fuck. Have you ever done it so much you had to put your dick in the freezer? <laughs> Have you ever done it so much in one period of time? <laughs> Last July, I was doing so much fucking. <laughs> Last summer was like my biggest summer for pussy. <laughs> Do you ever cut a fart in a girl's face while you're doing it? <laughs> this one month, I got so much pussy, I had to ice my balls. <laughs> Shit. Take this, I'm gonna drive it into your temple. Prepare yourself for a fight, a fight that's coming. I, I don't want that. <laughs> so you double retired? <laughs> really? <laughs> Can you feel the tension in the air right now? I know I can. I can feel it all the way down in my plums, getting all swollen with a light blue hue to them, fresh and juicy, ready for the picking. All the school children are lining up to put them in the sack lunches. Hey, that plum looks good. You, can I trade it for your Twinkie? No, these are my plums. I want to bite into that plum and let the juice spill down my chin. You know what I mean? All the while, everyone's saying, <laughs> I want the juice to spill the... <laughs> okay, okay. <clears throat> if I recall correctly, if I recall correctly, my plums, beautiful bluish hue, the sun just dancing right off of them, just nice. Getting ready to take them to market. I can feel it down in my plums. <laughs> I can feel it down in my plums. They're getting a nice bluish hue. Getting ready to take them to the farmer's market. Special two plums for one. <laughs> I can feel it down in my plums. Feel the tension in the air. <laughs> and I told my wife, Beverly, when I was on top of her. <laughs> what? Don't, don't motherfucker, don't laugh. When I was on top of her, making intense, painful love. <laughs> Consider it done. Okay? And listen to me. I'm gonna be real honest with you right now. This moment came to me in a dream. About a month ago, I was making love. My wife Donna, on top of her, thrusting away. A sultry, hot evening. All the windows closed. The heat turned up to about 82, so it gets sweaty. And hot, my hips thrusting down on Donna, her trying to get away, because she does not like it. When I hear a sound, a rap at the door, my young son Gabriel walks in. My wife says, no, Gabriel, leave. I say, no, let the boy watch. <laughs> let the boy watch. He needs to learn the way I learned from my father. The way he learned from his father. 